Hello and welcome to Enjoy English. I'm Stevie. I'm Angela. And I'm Frank. Today is Tuesday, the 23rd of November, and we are looking at the second part of our Just So You Know lesson. And、uh, we were talking yesterday about guide dogs,、uh, what they do. Basically, they help people,、uh, their companions to people who are visually impaired, who have problems seeing, or who can't see at all. Blind, you know, most blind people can actually still see a little bit. It's just that they cannot see enough to function.、Mm-hmm. Um, so, guide dogs basically help them. They, they kind of, they don't, you know, it's funny that we say they guide them. They do guide them, but we're going to actually learn today that they mostly keep them safe. Yeah, it's mostly just to keep them safe. 嗯，所以我们刚刚听到有个句子呢，这个啊、uh, ，blind people cannot see enough. To function, this function, this word is function, function, ah, to do a what kind of work? So, this is this ah, blind people, they see a little bit, a little bit, but not enough. Ah, that is, they cannot see enough to make a reaction. Now, before we look at our article today, let's look at the word for today. Now, before we look at our article today, let's look at the word for today. Now, before we look at our article today, let's look at the word for today. It is hard to tell Iris's handwriting from mine. Number two, distracted, distracted. 注意力分散的 Most children are easily distracted by their surroundings. Um, actually, I'm kind of easily distracted too sometimes. Does that mean you're a child? Huh. <笑><笑>好，特别注意到 surrounding 这个字，我们常用复数啦，因为这个周遭环境不止一个这样子。Number three, qualified, qualified. 合格的，胜任的。I don't think Annie is qualified to do the job. That means I don't think she has the skills or the decision-making ability to do it well. 好，所以我们看到 be qualified to do something 就是能胜任做什么事情。Number four, pet, pet 表示怜爱的，轻抚，轻摸。Now I like this sentence. It's a bit funny. Michelle petted her daughter's head. Now, you know, sometimes I, I guess we would do that to our children. You know, kind of just pet their head, but we don't call that petting usually because、mm-hmm. to pet is usually we only use that for an animal.、Mm-hmm. You know, because it's it's petting your dog, it's comforting your dog, your dog or your cat or whatever.、Mm-hmm. Um, you pet your pet. Yeah. Uh, now to pat, p a t, is to like pat. That's not quite the same as pet, or、um, wait, pat is like yeah, you're just kind of like petting, you know. But pat is、touching. like a stroking motion. Yeah,、mm-hmm. um, what we would probably say,、um, like for your daughter or your wife, you know,、uh, you know.、Uh, okay, let me think of a sentence. Stroke. My my dad likes it when my mother strokes his hair. Yeah, you know, you use stroke for your children and pet for your pets. Yeah. Okay, we just heard this stroke and pet. In here, we usually use the person. We use stroke. Stroke. That here, this pet, we usually use to pet the animal. Like this. That another one is to compare the pet with the pet. That is a pet. For example, a pet with a pet. Pet it. Pet it. Pet it. Pet it. Pet it. Whistle or the KK here says whistle. It depends on what part of the United States you come from as to whether you say whistle or whistle.、Mm. Okay, whistle 这个字或者念 whistle 就是吹口哨 Wayne whistled loudly to get my attention. Can you whistle? 
Yeah, I, I don't whistle very well. You can't whistle? Um, I'm really strange. I whistle sucking air in. Yeah, I do both. That's mm. called the jogger's whistle. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. Um, we do have some phrases for learning. We better get to those. Number one. Communicate with. Communicate with. I have never communicated with a foreigner before. Angela, you are a foreigner. Only in Taiwan. <laughs> Number two. Put someone through something or put something through something. I'm sorry to put you through all this trouble. Now keep going. <laughs> <laughs> 好，所以呢，我们看到这个 put somebody through， 我们看到这个用法 put you through all this trouble， 让你惹惹了这么多的麻烦。Number three, team A up with B. Team A up with B. 将 A 跟 B 组成一队。My teacher teamed me up with the best student in the class. We'll make a good team, Angela. <laughs> okay. We also have some extra words. Number one is colorblind. Colorblind. 色盲的 Number two is sniff. Sniff. 闻嗅 Number three, sighted. Sighted. 看得见的 Number four, instructor. Instructor. Number five, phase, phase, 阶段时期 Okay, let's have a look at the first paragraph of Guide Dogs Part Two. How exactly does a guide dog communicate with its owner? One thing to understand is that the owner makes the decisions. The guide dog is trained to let its owner know if the decision is dangerous. For example. The dog will not let the person step out in front of a moving car. Dogs are colorblind, so they cannot tell if a traffic light is green or red. The owner figures that out by listening to traffic sounds. Okay,、um, now because we are starting in the middle of an article, remember this is part two.、Um, we start out with a question, assuming that you have read yesterday's article.、Mm. How exactly does a guide dog communicate with its owner? So, how does the guide dog communicate?、Um, communicate with someone or something is number one in our phrases for learning. So, how you know how do they communicate? 好，这里的 exactly 不是的确，这里是到底的意思。所以，我们中文的到底，我们在这里我们就可以用到英文 exactly。好 ，how exactly 放在疑问词的后面就是。它到底是如何？所以呢，一只这个导盲犬，它到底如何跟它的主人沟通呢？我们看到 communicate with somebody 这个很重要的片语，就是与谁沟通。One thing to understand about how a, a guide dog communicates with his owner is that the owner makes the decisions. So it's the owner who decides what's going to happen or what we're going to do next. 嗯。Uh, one thing to understand, 你要了解的其中一件事 is that the owner makes the decisions. Decision 就是这个决定了。我们动词啊，动跟这个 make 搭配使用 make the decision. The guide dog is trained to let its know to let its owner know if the decisions that the owner makes are dangerous or not. So if the guide dog is okay with what the 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 owner wants to do, then it's most likely safe. But if the owner wants to cross the street or wants to keep going straight, and there's something in front of them, the guide dog will either stand in front of them and stop them, and the and the owner will know, oh, that's not safe, or there's something there,、hmm. or the guide dog will lead them around the obstacle. Right. 好，所以呢，他讲到这个 the guide dog， 这些导盲犬呢 is trained， 他们受到训练，训练怎样呢 ？To let the, its owner know， 让它的这个啊、uh, 主人知道什么 ？If the decision is dangerous， 前面是不是有障碍物？然后他就会带它绕过去。那是不是它是要穿越马路？那就很危险，它可能会挡在它前面这样子。For example， the dog will not let the person step out in front of a moving car. And like Stevie said, the dog will actually physically block the person with its body, so 
that the person will not keep moving forward into the path of the car.、Mm, and that that lets them know that hey, there's something there. It's not the dog、mm. just being stubborn. Right. Exactly. The, <laughs> so there, the dog is trained to give particular physical signals that the person understands. Hmm. So we've got to hear this physical signal, which is a a physical signal. So we've got to hear this physical signal, which is a physical signal. So we've got to hear this physical signal, which is a physical signal. So we've got to hear this physical signal, which is a physical signal. So we've got to hear this physical signal, which is a physical signal. So we've got to hear this physical signal, which is a physical signal. So we've got to hear this physical signal, which is a physical signal. So we've got to hear this physical signal, which is a physical signal. So we've got to hear this physical signal, which is a physical signal. So we've got to hear this physical signal, which is a physical signal. So we've got to hear this physical signal, which is a physical signal. So we've got to hear this physical signal, which is a physical signal. So we've got to hear this physical signal, which is a physical signal. So we've got to hear this physical signal, which is a physical signal. So we've got to hear this physical signal, which is a physical signal. So we've got to hear this physical signal, which is a physical signal. So we've got to hear this physical signal, which is Okay, they're colorblind. That means、uh, that's number one in our extra words. That means that they cannot tell、uh, some colors from other colors.、Mm, they okay, they don't know which is which. Right.、Uh, so they cannot tell. That's number one in building your vocabulary. If a traffic light is green or red. Actually, choosing green and red for traffic lights was a really dumb move because because anybody who's colorblind there's lots of people, especially men, are colorblind. Do you know that? And most men are colorblind, red, green. Much more men than women are colorblind. They should have picked red and blue, which is why train systems use red and blue, because even if you're colorblind, you can tell the difference between red and blue. Hmm. 好，所以这个火车系统他们是用蓝红蓝的这个灯号。OK， 那对于这个一般人有很多人来说，他们的红跟绿他们是色盲是分不清楚的啦。OK， 所以这一句呢，他讲说这个 dogs are colorblind， 狗呢都是色盲 ，so they cannot tell。这个 tell 有一个很重要的用法，我们刚刚听到 tell A from B， 啊、uh, ，tell one color from other colors， 啊、uh, ，他们没办法分辨一个颜色跟其他颜色的差别。So they cannot tell if a traffic light is green or red。他们无法分辨这个红绿灯呢，到底它是红还是绿。The owner figures that out by listening to traffic sounds. So the owner figures out if the traffic light is green or le- or red by listening to traffic sounds. Actually, you can do this too. You can stand at a corner and listen for which way the traffic is going, and you can tell、mm-hmm. whether you can go or or not by that. But don't cross with your eyes closed, okay? <laughs> Just don't, don't do it, especially not in Taipei. Right. <laughs> 好，所以呢，这边讲到说，这个主人呢，就盲包，他们通常要怎么会怎么想呢？把这个想出一个方法 ，they figure that out， 借由 by listening to traffic sounds， 听那个啊，如果这边的车子开动的话，表示这边是可以通行的；那这边车开动，表示它是借由听那个车流量的声音来知道该怎么过马路这样。Okay, we're gonna take a quick break and we'll be right back with paragraphs two and three. Okay, we are back, and、uh, we're going to be looking at paragraphs two and three. The hardest thing for a guide dog is to focus and not get distracted while working. After all, dogs love to sniff out all the smells around them and chase other animals. Guide dogs are not even allowed to bark while they are working. That is why potential guide dogs start their training when they are 18 months old. They are first put through a four-month course with a sighted instructor. If the dogs pass this phase, they are teamed up with a blind person for about another month before they are totally qualified. If you see a guide dog, you might want to pet it. However, doing that would be very wrong. Because the dogs are working hard not to be distracted, do not call the dog, whistle, or even try to make eye contact. Don't worry, though. Guide dogs get to relax and play too. That is, of course, after they are done guiding. This is really, really good advice.、Mm. So the hardest thing for a guide dog to do is to focus and not get distracted while working. Distracted is number two in building your vocabulary, and it means that you pay attention to things that are not the thing you're supposed to be paying attention to. A little bit like. 
being in school. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know about you, but when I was in school, I'm, I was never focused very well on the teacher. I was focused a lot, just not on what I was supposed to be focused on. Right, you were distracted. <laughs> <laughs> 好，所以这一句呢，我们看到他说 ，the hardest thing for a guide dog， 对于这些导盲犬最难的事情是什么呢 ？is to focus. Focus， 我们常用一个啊、呃，这个是不啊、呃、不及物动词，所以后面你要加一个受词的话，你要说 focus on something。OK， 用 on 这个介词 ，and not get distracted。这个 get distracted， 我们可以学起来，就是受到这个会分心了。所以呢，在工作时候不分心，并且专注，对他们来说是最难的。So after all, we just talked about dogs, you know, not getting distracted. After all, dogs love to sniff out. <laughs> You know, that's what dogs do. <laughs> they sniff out all the smells around them, and they like to chase other animals. Now, sniff is—you、uh, can tell what it is now. I just did it, and I think it was loud enough for you to hear.、Um, sniff was number two in our extra words. You know, that's what dogs do. They sniff. That's how they recognize things. That's how they recognize people.、There's, it's not by sight; it's by smell. Actually, dogs can't see that well. They smell much better than they can see.、Mm. 好，所以刚刚听到狗狗呢，因为它视力不好，所以都用闻的。他们就是用闻来认出人或东西的。Recognize 这个词 ，R E C O G N N I Z E R E C O G N I Z E。Recognize， 我们可以学起来。所以 ，after all， 毕竟呢，狗狗他们都喜欢闻来闻去啊，所有的味道啊，周遭的味道，并且他们喜欢 chase other animals， 他们喜欢追逐其他的动物。Guide dogs are not even allowed to bark while they are working. So the even in this sentence is like、um, really emphasizing. They're not. You could say guide dogs are not allowed to bark, but you can say they're not even allowed to bark. They're not allowed to do a whole bunch of things. Even barking is not allowed. 嗯哼，好，所以这些狗狗呢，它们甚至导盲犬甚至不允许在这个执勤的时候呢，啊，这个狗这个吠叫啊 ，bark 就是狗的叫，就是 bark. Now that. Is why potential guide dogs start their training when they are eighteen months old. When we say potential guide dog, now to have potential that means you have the potential of becoming or doing something. You have that, the right qualities. Yeah, the right qualities. So we say potential guide dogs because not all of them make it through、mm. training. They're all good dogs, but they don't make it necessarily to be a guide dog. You have to be smart, and you have to be well behaved. Right. So, and it's hard, you know, for dogs to to really. It's it's kind of against their nature not to bark and not to sniff around, and it's you know, it's not in their nature to do that. So, but they start their training when they are eighteen months old. You can't start them too young because they're just like kids. You know, they get distracted, and you. You know, well, it's not fair to put somebody who's too young into school because it takes all the joy out of life. Yeah, they're not ready for it. 好，所以呢，他说 that is why potential guide dogs. 这个 potential 就是这个潜在的。我们这个可以当形容词，比如说 a potential customer， 潜在顾客。那你也可以当名词了，比如说 the player has a lot of potential. 这个球员呢，他有很多的很多的潜力。OK， 所以这种潜在的这个啊、uh, 导盲犬，他们开始他们的训练 ，start their training when they are eighteen months old， 在十八个月大就开始受训。They meaning the guide dogs or the potential guide dogs, the guide dogs in training. They are first put through a four-month course with a sighted instructor. Instructor, um, to be put through it means that you're given this experience, like they're they're made to do it. So they're made to do this four month course, and they do it with a sighted instructor. Sighted means number sighted is number three in our extra words, and it means someone who can see. Instructor is number four in our extra words, and it means the person who is giving the course. An instructor is a teacher, basically. It's a kind of a teacher, but teacher and instructor are kind of different things. A teacher is like.、Um, Supposedly, a teacher has all the knowledge, and they can give it to you. An instructor has a very specific set of knowledge that they're passing on. Hmm. 好，所以这个指导员呢是专精于某一种这个知识上面的。好，所以呢，在这里他说 ，they are first put through. 他们呢啊被放进，他们被这个受训了，在这个训练的课程里面 ，a four month course. 这个 four month 中间有个连字号，这整个是一个形容词啊，复合形容词。OK， 这是四个月的课程 ，with a sighted instructor。那他他们旁边呢会有一个看得见的这样的一个指导员
if the dogs pass this phase, now in this case, phase means a period of time or a period of, of doing something. Okay, if the dogs pass this phase, they are teamed up with a blind person. Teamed up with, to team A up with B is number three in our phrases for learning. And、uh, so they're teamed up with a blind person, a person who can't see, but this person is, good at, is still good at training guide dogs. Yeah, they know what, to, what, to, what is expected of the dog, and so they know how to, how to make sure the dog responds appropriately. Right. So they're teamed up with a blind person、uh, who is a, also an instructor. For about another month before they are totally qualified. Qualified is number three in building your vocabulary. So, before they, they have the right skills and basically they pass the test.、Mm. 好，所以如果呢，这些狗狗 pass this phase， 通过这个阶段的话 ，they are teamed up with， 他们就和什么搭配成一对呢？ Uh, a blind person, 一个盲包 for about another month. 啊，会另外再用跟他在一起一个月这样子啊。Uh, before they are totally qualified, 在他们完全符合资格之前。Now this next paragraph is very important to pay attention to. It starts off: If you see a guide dog, if you see one of these dogs, you might want to pet it. To pat somebody or something is number four in building your vocabulary. You might want to stroke its fur or be like, "Oh, it's so cute! Let me touch it." Hmm. 好，所以我们刚刚听到这个字 fur 不错。这个人的毛是 hair, h a i r。那狗的毛，动物的毛，用 fur, f u r, f u r。所以呢，这一句说 ，If you see a guide dog， 如果你看到一只导盲犬 ，you might want to pat it。你可能就会想要这个轻柔、轻轻的这个抚摸它的这个毛。However, but doing that, petting the guide dog, would be very wrong. In other words, don't do it, <laughs> because the dogs are working hard not to be distracted. They're trying to do their job. They're trying to not pay attention to everything else. Right. They're trying not it... to sniff at things, and then you go up to it and pet it, and you you distract it.、So、yeah. You're, it's hard. Yeah. You're it's creating to, a problem. Yeah. You're making it work hard to ignore you. <laughs> okay. So, 然而呢 doing that 你去摸它的话 would be very wrong. 是错误的 because the dogs are working hard. 他们很努力的 not to be distracted. 他们不要分心 So do not call the dog. If you call a dog, you're like, "Hey, hey!" You know, you're trying to get their attention. Don't, yeah, don't do that. Don't whistle. Whistle is what Stevie just did, and that's number five in building your vocabulary. And don't even try to make eye contact. Don't even try to make it see you. Just leave it alone.、Mm-hmm. Okay, leave somebody alone. A L O N E 就是。放着啊啊！某人不要理他，留他在那边，不要管他。所以这里呢，他说 ，Do not call the dog， 你不要叫那只狗。然后呢，也不要这个吹口哨 ，whistle， or even try to make eye contact。Eye contact 就是眼睛的这个啊交，这视目交相交这样子。你不要跟他就有这个，不要看他啦。所以呢，这个动词我们都用 make。Yeah， don't don't you know go up and go oh good doggy， yeah <laughs> good puppy。<laughs> the dog、okay. is gonna look at you like whatever.、Uh, okay, that's what I do. Not to guide dogs, though. Okay. <laughs>、um, our next sentence starts out. Don't worry, though. That means don't worry about the don't worry about the puppy. Don't worry about the dog, because guide dogs get to relax and play too. You know, they get to they get to relax and be a dog after their job's、mm. done. 好，所以他说 ，Don't worry, though. 但是呢，不用担心。That is, of course. So they get to relax and play, but this is only when they are done guiding. So、mm. just like people, they have a job to do, and when they are done doing their job, then they get to play and relax. 好，所以那些导盲犬他们都可以休息了，到时候也可以玩。That is, of course, after they are done guiding. 也就是在什么时候呢？他们呢，这个下没有在执勤的时候，他们还是可以 relax， 就是放松，并且能够游玩。So you know, after they're all done being, you know, working, they get to have fun and relax. And you know, actually, I, I really impressed. I'm really impressed by what guide dogs do. I am impressed also by how they look when they do it. Like I saw a couple of guide dogs recently on the subway,、mm-hmm. and they just look so proud. 
they're like, yes, I'm doing a good job. You know, they're proud and they're happy and they really, really love the person they're、yeah. taking care of. I'm a good boy. Oh, so we just heard a few good ones. For example, I'm impressed by. 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 Enjoy it from a distance,、mm. but、uh, look at it, but don't distract it. Yeah, don't go up and bug it. And、uh, that is all the time we have for today. But we will see you back here again tomorrow for more enjoy English. Bye bye. bye. Guide dogs. How exactly does a guide dog communicate with its owner? One thing to understand is that the owner makes the decisions. The guide dog is trained to let its owner know if the decision is dangerous. For example, the dog will not let the person step out in front of a moving car. Dogs are colorblind, so they cannot tell if a traffic light is green or red. The owner figures that out by listening to traffic sounds. The hardest thing for a guide dog is to focus and not get distracted while working. After all. Dogs love to sniff out all the smells around them and chase other animals. Guide dogs are not even allowed to bark while they are working. That is why potential guide dogs start their training when they are eighteen months old. They are first put through a four-month course with a sighted instructor. If the dogs pass this phase, they are teamed up with a blind person for about another month. Before they are totally qualified, if you see a guide dog, you might want to pet it. However, doing that would be very wrong because the dogs are working hard not to be distracted. Do not call the dog, whistle, or even try to make eye contact. Don't worry, though. Guide dogs get to relax and play too. That is, of course, after they are done guiding. They become a part of you. Every time you bleed, fire raging, brightness relentless. You survive.